Hey, everybody. Welcome to a technical difficulty version of the Divine and Conqueror's Hog War. Uh, a Sacred World. Oh, my God. Wow. I lost. Major, major technical difficulties. Major technical difficulties. I think it's Wednesday. Uh, I've had a long week. A long week of moving and continuously moving and more moving. Um, but hey, guys. Uh, welcome to another Friday night. Um, hopefully, you guys are safe out there. Ate a lot of turkey if you could. If you couldn't, don't worry. There's going to be more turkey in the future. Um, but... Are we going to fight a turkey? Don't tempt me with ideas. <laughs> the big, the big baddie is just a gigantic turkey. Oh, there's a, there's, we figured there's, it out. There's a dicky. There we go. There we go. Let me put it right here. Uh, okay. So yeah. Um, hey everybody. Uh, welcome to our Friday stream. Uh, this is a 5th edition game based on the Pathfinder Seas using the Greyhawk Pantheon, a little bit of Dory, Innistrad, and Ravnica all wrapped into one beautiful campaign uh, that's being warped into a homebrew campaign for next campaign. Not arc. There's still a couple of arcs and then campaign. Um, but I hear that our bros have like a cool thingy that's going on. Vic, if you want to elaborate on that. Wait, what? You 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 said we have a very special announcement, and you posted it on group chat. Oh 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 yeah, that that special announcement. Yeah, that one. Right. So currently, because uh, this is always a thing that follows after the Turkey Day uh, celebrations, is people go out and they go buy things to get ready for Christmas. And so, how about instead of going out to uh, you know? big businesses you go check out some of our smaller businesses our online businesses that have been doing so fantastic uh and and kind of you know build building their shop up so our friends at talent and claw uh right now their entire etsy shop is 15 percent off um today and with every order you will get a free set of dice and then mm. from saturday through monday it'll be 10% off everything. And, you know, as it says, each order throughout the weekend will be entered into a raffle for a chance to win one of five gift cards, which is $25, $50, $75, $100, or $200. That's so, Etsy, right? Yeah, it's on their Etsy, so go oh, check yes. them out. Uh, yeah, their I'm link is right down now. below on our Twitch yeah. page. We also have a, a coupon code that you could use, which is Divine Conquer, that gets you 10% off at checkout, so that's pretty cool. And go check them out. They've got all this cool stuff. They've got Dice Vaults, DM screens wooden dice spell slot trackers yes those are really really and cool and they're always coming up with more cool stuff that i didn't realize i needed until today yes for all you level one wizards here you go keep track of your, <laughs> of your one spell um just single spell <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> level one wizards then i can do this one, one time <laughs> um yeah uh please uh, follow their etsy the info's down below um also, uh, we have some merch if you guys want to support us in some way. We got yeah. stickers and shirts and pocket paladins and pocket clerics, um, books, etc. Thermoses, uh, a mask, which are you know important. Uh, do, do, do also the Alistair project, which is another thing that uh, uh, you should talk about, my dude. Yeah, more words for me. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Hey, so me and uh, me and my best bro Lynn, we are uh, making a webcomic, and it's on Webtoon. You can go check it out. Um, it's about this righteous knight named Alistair that is uh, questing to save the world. Right now, he's kind of lost in the woods, uh, chasing a monster. If you caught our last uh, chapter update, which we updated on Monday, and yeah. uh, we are things are going to get a little wonky as it is the holidays and. Uh, Lynn had been dragged off into the woods of Virginia by Mothman, so we're mm -hmm. gonna see how soon we can get the next chapter up. Um, yeah, that's it's thing. great. She's been sending me updates. Uh, every every picture she sends me is more and more cursed, and I think she might be in the plot line for the Blair Witch. So we'll try to get that uh, that chapter out as soon as we can. Uh, if, if you want, uh... okay, Cole. <laughs> what? Your, your moon <laughs> I just saw light is over perfect. Cole. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so perfect. <laughs> so, uh, so, but if uh, if you can't wait that long, you could always join our Patreon. A link for that is down below as well on our Twitch. Uh, you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month for our lowest tier, and you get 
a bunch of fun extra stuff. Uh, I'm writing up a lot of lore dumps for you to read about in the world of Alistair while you wait for that next chapter. Uh, I believe the past one that I put out was for uh, the barbarian tribes that roam the wilds. So you can get the <coughs> fun story there. Nice. And then we have different tiers for different levels. I believe Devil and Up tier, uh, tiers get the character profiles. We should be putting a new character profile out soon. And as always, our highest tier for $13 a month is our Zesty tier, which means you get art that Lynn and I don't dare post anywhere else. <laughs> which uh, the forbidden art. Uh, the forbidden art. As Since it is coming up at the end of the month, we should uh, be prepping for our next Zesty tier post to come out soon. I love the Zest. The zest is so good. It's great. All the zest just screams through Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, uh, speaking of the bro, Lynn, uh, mm -hmm. she's here. Um, cause, uh, thing, Mothman kidnapped her. Because things, yeah, Mothman. Yep. Um, so, there you go. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's us uh, introduce ourselves and get into... Oh, we lost... Uh, we're at zero again. That keeps happening. Let me go to Twitch. This sucks. I don't know if they can hear Miss. Hopefully they can. Technical difficulties. Yeah, I'm seeing the buffer. There it went. Defin technical difficulties. Please stand by. I don't know what to do. Oh, now Anybody we're at 7,000. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh. It works. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Uh, and now we're at 31, 2,000. Uh, 900, 900, 12,000, a uh, zero. Don't know what... I mean, uh... I'll take the 32,000. So basically, <laughs> it's the inaugural Wrights Brothers flight. Up, yes. down, up, down. <laughs> All right, I, I think it's it's steady. Hopefully it's steady. If, if it's not, that sucks. But hey, if we're back, we're back. Cool. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> love it when this happens. Um, yeah, let's let's introduce ourselves and get right into the game. Hey guys, I'm Jesus. I'll be y'all's dungeon master. To the right is a Jeremiah. Who are you playing tonight? Hello, I am playing Ragnar. Ragnar, full metal. A uh, blacksmith. No, not a blacksmith. <laughs> I mean. I mean, well, well, I are. guess it is. Technically. Uh, technically, I am, but uh, I am an artificer battlesmith. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, artificer <laughs> battlesmith. Dwarf, and I have two babies. Two, two, two babies. About a father of two. First and a beast, and I am a father of two. <laughs> <laughs> and Colt, who are you playing? Hello. Uh, my name is Colton. I will be playing Ariel, the angel paladin of Paylor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vic, who are you playing tonight? Hey, yo, it's Vic, and I'm going to be playing West, the human barbarian warlock <clears throat> that's starting to realize there might be some nature in him. <laughs> might be some, that's a little weird to say. But, uh, uh, Dicky, perfect timing, who are you playing? I don't know if you can hear me. Maybe. Oh, we lost. Ah! Yep. All the yep. use. Oh my god. Yep, I have Twitch pulled up and it's like. Uh, why do they keep doing this? Okay. Well, Where are we at? Hey, Dickie, who are you playing? Where is it? Oh, uh -huh. I am playing Oleg the Hunted, half orc fighter, and really sweet guy. If you get to know him pretty good. You just gotta get to know him. <laughs> just gotta get. It's like an like an onion has. You gotta layers. hit that level four friendship to get that backstory. <laughs> And, um, yeah, we're, we're at zero again, but we're going to continue. We'll just keep going and we'll, it will iron out and it'll be on YouTube. And oh, yeah, code this, this is starting off really good. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. Uh, this Hey, uh, <laughs> Tabby, who are you playing? Tabitha, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, Salutations, yeah. everybody. I am Tabitha. I will be playing Cole, the knowledge cleric. Tiefling knowledge cleric. Yes, yes. No fun facts. No, no. You're no just in the dark abyss. Just a nervous boy, that's all. Yeah, you guys should be. <laughs> Let's roll that intro.
Um, hey guys, welcome yeah, back. Uh, sorry if it keeps going in and out. We're just gonna keep keep on doing what we're doing and um and just just hope for the best. We'll we'll see what uh what happens. We'll just keep on streaming. Uh, let us do our recap, shall we? Arlegon, uh, please help us through this stream. Yeah. Uh. Papa God of the Roads, help. Papa God, please help. He'll be uh, like, uh, what the fuck's internet? <laughs> <laughs> he would be the type that would do that. Um, yes. Near so, as I'm channeling out frustration and just Near getting to the, in the game. It's uh, me. So, the, uh, the Aurelisian Bagabots, uh, had a task that took down one keep. Um, some odd revelations and disturbing ones uh some of the lycanthropes in the key worship the persistent evil god lamashu that keeps having something to do everywhere you go um and there's always some sort of bigger feel the feeling of a bigger plot um as you guys went to the second keep the dewberry uh stronghold um you got spotted uh, by the Knolls. Um, with uh, a quick mm -hmm. fight outside, as more reinforcements were sent out, uh, you guys had a distraction with Grog going one side and you guys going on the other. Uh, Cole making a save point, and by all definitions, I made a save point. <laughs> you literally made a church out of a piece of stone, a boulder, outside of the. Uh, because. That spell requires a physical location for a church. So congratulations, yep. Cole. You've made a church for Farlagon on that boat. Thank you, Papa Farlagon. <laughs> As uh, you guys, uh, uh, some flew above, some just went straight into the keep. Um, Ariel being able to uh, lift the chain to let uh, all our non-flyers go inside. Uh, seeing a chimney filled with, unfortunately, some burnt uh, people. Probably some of the ones that live there. Fighting some of the gnolls inside. And having strong words and a slight ethical dilemma as things were happening. With how this was being done. And what does it mean to be an enemy or, or who should be killed or who should not be killed in this endeavor. Um, and with all this said and done... Addy finally had enough and left in disapproval of what's been happening thus far. Whoa. So, we're going to go back to where we were. Uh, back in the first floor of this four floored keep. Uh, I should probably switch to where we are, I believe. Yeah. Okay. To slightly make the music louder hey, and so? uh, give a little description of what's happening. Uh, West. Yeah. Uh, the. Yes. Um, oh, oh, we lost somebody. Oh, okay. Uh, West. At the um, current. Uh, I'm coming as back. As soon as you saw Addy just grab the air and essentially lift his fist to raise that null. There was a odd spark in his eye. Something that you have never seen, but you always imagine yourself to look like when you finally lose it in rage. As you guys stepped into the courtyard... Um, still seeing that hyena rip that uh, horse and tear, uh, the smoke billowing as the uh, rancid uh, stench of corpses fills the entire area. Rognar, you're the only one who was able to hear the soothing yet dark hum and melody through somewhere in the air. The upper floors you hear creaking as people moving around you hear uh, a steel drag on wood um things being hooked or moved out of stone 
Ario and Cole, as you open this room, nothing. Just another door in front of you. And you're technically in the stronghold. One of the windows being smashed to the kitchen. The, uh, and yet still a lot to explore. The moon is half waned. It's nightfall. It's a little chilly out. The f anyone that can see outside sees from your perspective, um, it looks like the entire forest has been knocked down just based on the hillside that you guys are in. It almost seems like you're alone. Mm. With that, at least in Bagabonzo, what do we do? I burned said, down the place. Uh, you said no, well, so. we're not doing that. That's yes. um, no. It'd be so uh, much what's, murder, though. Sorry, I was... Uh... Because I was I was looking at the stream because we went offline for a bit. I was trying to say, but I think we went back. But what was I hearing again? Sorry, because I think it was the chanting. The chanting from last time. Oh, the chanting from last. Yes. Time. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna like, uh, this door is open, right? Uh, the, those would marker? be little uh, um, not bowls, but uh, okay. containers that have wood burning inside. Um, if you take a look, okay. it would be, uh, um, kennel just, just to keep things a little bit warm. Uh, not that it's Did really needed, but you are s starting to notice, Oleg, that, uh, there is quite a bit of fire here. Anything that can be lit, even candles are lit. Um, it's not terribly cold. It's not winter. It's still summertime, but... It looks like they're intentionally lighting fires. Good. And for sure, as soon as you step inside of Cole, Ariel, you also notice that there is wood and kennel being burnt at the moment. Um, some of the smoke is going out the air here, these uh, arrow slits. Okay. Um, I did want to have Cole do a thing. Yes. Um, I'm gonna have Cole cast locate object. What is the object? The bottle. Okay. You have a ping. Oh. Where is he getting the ping from? I believe you don't know the location of the ping. Let me look it up. Um, I have the spell pulled up. Okay. Uh... The spell can locate a specific object known to you as long as you have seen it up close within 30 feet at least once. Mm -hmm. uh, the spell can't locate an object of any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet blocks a direct path between you and the object. Okay. You can sense the direction of the object's the object. location as long as the object is within a thousand feet of you. So, the object you sense. Uh... It would be to your left. Remember, say to left. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. That's the tool that I wanted. So around here is where you're sensing it, from your direction. Okay. Um, Cole's actually going to then move past Ariel and actually go down the stairs and... Yeah, um, this go back into the, I guess open doors, right? The, yeah, the, the the boxes with the line slit is the means that it have been opened, and you should yeah. be able to see everything that has been opened, regardless. So that that will help you. Because I want to just know to say. Uh, okay, okay, so Addy going out the the bridge that means it's open, right? The bridge is open. Okay, I think West is just gonna kind of like I'm gonna just do shit. Fuck, hold on. He's just gonna like take his movement to like go and just okay. like where Addy's going. If this is to... what we're doing, then I need everybody to roll me initiatives because everyone is going in a completely different location. The okay. entire party is split. So we're doing dungeon initiative <laughs> okay. then. Nope. Not bad. Alright. Um, Twenty yeah. plus. Nineteen. Oh well Did anyone be no, 19? I don't know if anybody got above that, sorry. Uh nineteen. Okay. Uh, I got a dirty 20. All right, Ariel, 20. Okay. Uh, Rognarf, what did you get? All right, here you go. <laughs> okay, uh, Wes, what did you get? 
I got an 18. 18, okay. So, uh, Ariel, and then because of this dungeon initiative, uh, Oleg and uh, Colt, roll me a d20, just pure d20. Unless one of you is okay with the other one going first. Nine. 17. Plus my initiative? No, it, this is just to... Um, to just see who's going to go first. It's a straight roll. Okay, okay, I rolled a nine. Okay, so... 17. Uh, you guys should be able to see the track order. If not, please let me know. Um... So, yeah. Dungeon Initiative has been rolled. Dungeon Initiative. Uh, fourth edition rules that I actually do like. So, since everyone has split off <laughs> into different locations, we're going to go over with uh, Ariel, then Cole, Oleg, Wes, and then Rognar. So, as Oleg, you go to grab a door. Ariel, you see Cole uh, leave into the room and just rush over to the opened uh, doorway. Rognar, you're stepping over to the door in front of you as West is heading out the gate. Ariel, what do we do? I want to... Do I notice that West is leaving? You would have seen him uh, head in this direction, yeah. Uh, I'll just Somehow. kind of yell out the doorway, like, West, where are you going? should stick together. It goes for you as well, Cole. Why? Um, I'm Sorry. a man on a mission. Sorry, but just a little heads up. Um, West is 65 feet away from me, so warding bot disappears. Okay. Just right. just so you know. Ariaz, you look out the, do uh, the door that is open, and you say it out loud. I will wait for a response. Otherwise, I would mean... Because I want to, if they're able to respond, uh, you can depending on what reaction. they say, I would either continue into the room or I would stay there and wait. So, uh, Wes, yeah, do you want to respond? Give me a minute. Right, that's all you hear, Ariel. Okay. Mm uh, with that, then I will move in a little further okay. just to here. And I'm going to kind of like brace up against the wall and just kind of reach around. And See if I can open the door. It takes a little bit of um, uh, you're a strong uh, person. Uh, this also takes a, a little bit of effort. Uh, you think that maybe it's just so old or badly kept that it just as it it does open. And from your perspective, uh, as I draw the it is open line, um, from what you can see is a chair. A couple of uh, uh, little locations for arrows to be uh, launched from the inside, and a stairwell going up or down. Mm. As I need to reveal this area. Well, now that I know there's nothing in there, that was what? Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. action to start open door. So you still have a couple, oh, bit of movement and bonus if you want. I will go there, and let me see. I don't think there's really anything I would want to do as a bonus action, mm -hmm. so uh, I'll probably just call it okay. right there. Uh, Cole, what do we do? Um, with Cole going over there, he's going to see if he can still catch up the ping. Um... Yeah, it lasts for 10 minutes. You're still concentrating, right? Uh, the ping is... Uh, yeah. It would be now, from your perspective, uh, it would be below and slightly in front of you. Can he sense how far below? No, but you said that it's below. It is within a thousand feet. Um, he is gonna look over to Rognarv and say, um, the item that we're we're here to get is below us. He'll whisper that. I mean, since Rognarv's literally right there. Well, your whispering well, needs to be kind of loud just, because he is about. Yeah, 50 well, feet then away. he'll basically just talk normal level. Excuse me, then to him. Um, with it. Thirty gets him here. Okay. And uh, from what you can, do you have dark vision? 
Yes. Okay. From what you can see, the the stairwell is not lit, and as it goes out, you see the uh, glow of light underneath. From your perspective, you would see what maybe looks like to be a um, a tub uh, filled halfway with water. Underneath. And then, yes. Or... And then there's okay. more area uh, beside you. So it, it opens up to a larger, way larger room from your perspective. Uh, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Uh, um, he'll double his movement to walk down. Okay. So I need um, to place you in a he new will weapon. Stealth. Hmm. He will stealth this, too. Roll me stealth. Oh, oh no. Oh. It was a six. <laughs> As you walk down. <laughs> that smile for Jesus. You immediately <laughs> see Anol grabbing a, a large amount of things and just dropping them as gold bits fall to the ground. And you see he grabs a mace. And since you stepped down, I need to calculate this very carefully. Oh no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> would be here so it might not take effect then this is like the that one scene at star wars <clears throat> solo is like yeah and then okay. see the whole our troopers they just runs out i <laughs> the <other> um... way. <laughs> the intercom everything's fine how are you doing today oh no okay <laughs> all right let me see with the they would have gone earlier, but we're gonna put them in initiative, as there is a null who moves up to you, and you see his. Uh, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's wrong. Oh God, cool. I got to look at my wisdom save. Cool beans. Oh. Holy moly! Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, as for some reason the uh the as he kind of moves his mace there is a odd effect kind of like moving from it to you uh-huh and you can't help to be a little bit scared but not enough to shake you or affect you in any way but you are like what the fuck is that this guy's mm -hmm. okay uh, and I will move you here. You're no longer in this map. You're... Next time, we're going to switch you over to the new map. Uh, okay, Oleg. yay. What are we doing? I'm at the doorway. Okay. As, as you open the, uh, the door, uh, let me reveal the area. Oh, that is the opposite. I want to reveal, not hide. You see stairs leading downward. Okay. I'm going to use stealth to go down. Okay. Roll me stealth. And I don't know what's in this location. 22. 22. Okay. Um, once you reach down below, uh, you will see another door that's slightly ajar. Okay. What? I'll approach the door. Okay. As soon as you open the door, you are in an armory. There are shield, spears, and swords. And it is an enclosed room. I'm sorry? Any arrows? Uh, yeah. I'll say there's a couple arrows there. For I sure. filled my quiver with all the arrows in there that my quiver can hold. There is definitely enough to... How many quivers do you own? I'm probably short about nine. Oh, easily. There's there's definitely more than that. Alright. Okay. And uh yeah, there's the armor looks subpar, to be honest. But there is plenty of spears, swords, shields, uh short bows and arrows there. And okay. it is a enclosed stone room. Alright. I search for Traps or secret doors or anything like that. Alright, Roman investigation. Oh. 
19. 19. Give me a second. Take your time. Crap's still here. As, uh... I'm sorry. Oh, man. As you are... dangerous to play in D&D. &D. Yeah. Old age hits you every time. As, uh, you're looking through the, the room... It definitely feels solid. It's not like an illusionary walls or anything. Right. And you're kind of looking through the shields and things, and you see an odd set of boots in the corner. Um, they look uh, definitely worn. And as you kind of look at them, and it doesn't really match what's around here. It doesn't look like uh, boots that were given to any fighter or anything. It uh, it just looks like older boots. Um, yeah, and as you kind of... It, it look a little small for someone of your size, okay. but the interesting thing is inside the boot, it has a little pouch. And when you open it, and you kind of look, there are uh, forty gold pieces within both Ooh. boots. All right, then you get you got you got some gold. It'll work. With that, West, what do we do? Okay, uh, I'm. Essentially, I walked out uh, the gate to see uh, the direction where Addy had gone. Uh, you, the only trace that you have at the moment, it is a dead knoll that was not the one of the undead knolls. Dead again, and the tra uh, a direction you think he's going uh, northeast. Okay, so I don't see him at all. Uh, not at the current. Okay. But, okay, but I can kind of discern that northeast would yes. have been the direction. Okay. You just... I'm going to just kind of... Okay, fine. And... Oh, goodness, please don't bark. Trixie, <laughs> stop. Uh, so I'm going to... All right, I'm going to go back to where I was, essentially. Okay. And just, uh, since Rognarv's there... Um, just gonna let him know. Um, yeah, so Addy walked away. He with with the, the the undead thing. I don't think he's doing too good. We might have to go find him after this. But northeast is the direction that I think he went. Uh, I'm gonna use my reaction here, even though I'm next. But yeah, um, so tell basically. Uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, rogue. No, Ragnar. <laughs> Colwe Col Col went that way. He said the item we're looking for is down there. Okay, so I'll go follow I guess, him. I'll, I guess I'll go follow him. That, okay. Okay, all right. I want that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll I should start uh, with your actions and stuff. Oh, no, I'm going to just double my movement. So, I'm, uh, no, actually, I'm just going to yell. Be like, Ariel, we're going in the, the main hall thing. Just... Okay. Uh, Ronar, are you doing anything other than following Cole? Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow Cole. Okay. Oh, like, like, I'm going to reach here. the, uh, the yeah. surface back up. Um, I yelled. What, uh, uh, you see the, the party members all going in one direction. Do you follow or uh, do you split in a different location? Who? Oleg. Oh. Me? Yes. I am coming back out. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I think we. Yeah, I would have. I would have yelled. Moving over here. Uh, uh, I just want to know if, uh, if, because I think Ariel says he's going to as well. If uh, you guys are all going in the same direction or are we splitting again? That's no, my, I'm my going. Question. Going the same way. Okay. All right. So yeah, if uh, that's uh, happening, I'm look at the the door ominously. Well, like, I'll I'll go inside you later. <laughs> As uh, the ominous door stays I'm back there. For you. <laughs> Later. I'm going yes. to place you where you are. Oh god. As this snow should have moved thirty feet forward, going down these steps. Oh uh, boy, I get to see this. Just so you know, Oleg, this is where you were. These are the stairs the armory that you were in. Right. Um, so, uh, do. Are you showing it to me or? Yeah, it, it should have been illuminated. Uh, it, everybody's in this map, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, no, you're not. That's probably why you can't see it. You guys are not in the map. There we go. 
So, Oleg, oh, like, this is where you were, where the uh, the cursor is uh, pulsating. Right. Um, Cole, I'm gonna give <laughs> you a round, and then Noel a round, and then we're gonna roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Cole? <laughs> Guiding bolt. All right, Roman hit. Is it be like Cole? Then Natural Noel. twenty. Cole, yes, Noel, then yeah, Roman come from place, and then then we're gonna roll an initiative. No, we're gonna oh. keep this. I'm, uh, I just wanted to see it, it because I'm not gonna make I'm initiative. Still for... uh, okay, well, still roll me damage. It's still the dice double. Okay. Uh, Here we go again. With a bright beam. Mm. <laughs> yep, as a bright beam. Uh, so cool. Uh, describe to the uh, our audience as uh, here is the uh, the um, what we call it uh, the tub filled with water that you saw. As you're looking around, okay. you see some of the open doors. Um, there is definitely a bakery this. here. Um, there is food supply. Um, there are stairs leading to other locations that you are unable to see. This is definitely the storage room. Um, you actually smell some food being cooked throughout and if you look a little bit behind this knoll you see that there is meat that's being cut right now fresh fish put on the table veggies that are still being sorted you see bags of flour and bags of different kinds of seeds um but yeah 36 uh, points of radiant damage 36 points of radiant damage yes uh, well he's bloodied uh that was a and, knee-jerk reaction, because that's what he would have done. <laughs> okay. As you throw Dad. your beam, and it hits him, as he illuminates and brightens, you see one very important feature. He mm -hmm. has four scratch marks across his face. Okay. So. It's like, oh, oh, oh you're the one. <laughs> as... It runs over to you in a zigzag pattern. It's going to make three Shit. attacks. Shit. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see if the hit. Okay. Seventeen. No. Okay. Eighteen. That hits. And then if eighteen hits, this one would hit because it's a higher number. Okay. So you are. You don't take any extra fix from this, do you? Nope, it just does that. Okay, cool. I wanted to make sure that there's no additional damage. As the mace glows and he hits you, that's going to be 6d6 worth of damage. Oh, shit. <sighs> so... That is 25 points of damage from Ouch. two hits from the flail. In each hit, you Ouch. see that it kind of pulsates as he says something in Abyssal, and it just glows a little bit. With that, you guys are still in the other location, so I'm going to switch over to the other map. This is the fun part. Alrighty. So... Uh, we're gonna go to Cold Just Went. Uh, fucking, we're doing top of the round. So, moving into. Uh, okay, so. It would be. Ariel? Yes. So, Ariel, what do we do? I would. Just be like. <sighs> when Wes says that they're going into that room. So, I will. Fly out of here. Okay. So let's see how far I can get. 20, 30. Yeah. Uh, I am going to make my way there, but I'm making a pit stop first here. Okay. To see if I'm able to. Um, can I see into this room here, through here? Uh. See the purple there, but I don't know if that's another door. It is. So as soon as you open this door, let me mark that it is open. Let me reveal area. You see a hallway leading into uh, with another door, um, and 
a stairwell going up and down. And Ariel, what is your passive perception? Uh, passive is 15, yes. Okay, 15. so from over here, from this doorwell, you hear chanting. Mm. Mm. Uh, that's a problem. Um, let's see if I want to do this. Um, if it would even work here. Um, yeah, it should work. I am going to cast Detect Evil and Good. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me do a thing. Avarition, Celestial, Elemental, Fate, Fiend, or Undead. Um, I'm trying to figure out how many possible bad guys might be in there. Uh, actually, you don't sense anything then. Because oh. of the specifics of that spell. Uh Oh. Yeah, no uh no undead, no celestials, no fiends, mm. uh no elementals, no aberrations, no undead, no fae. Mm. Well if that's the case, I guess I would just kind also, of Also uh this you see that this is stone and uh it would be blocked by one foot of stone regardless. Um, I will pull out my sending stone, and I'll just be like, um, hey guys, uh, there's chanting going on inside this room that I'm standing outside of currently. Um, if it's some sort of spell, it might be prudent for us to interrupt it before they finish. Just a suggestion. And Cole has the other sending stone, or Drognard? <laughs> I think... Cole. Cole, Cole as uh, that echoes <laughs> underneath, and you, as you just get hit with the mace, just <laughs> Ariel's passive and calm words uh, poking Dude, from I, your uh, from your pocket. I will choose the reaction to say, kind of busy, Ariel. <laughs> as you hear that being screamed, Ariel, on your end. As he chokes through blood and teeth. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to go to Cole. Cole, uh, it is, oops, wrong wrong thingy. Boop. And... I guess with the locate object still being up, would he be able to sense it oh, on them? you got a hit. I need you to roll cool. me a uh, constitution saving throw. You need to be a 15. Okay, okay. okay. Let me see here. Dirty 20. Yeah, it, uh, it's uh, it's really right in front of you. It's on him? I don't know. It's in front of you. Oh. Well, since the guy's right in front of him, Cole's just going to, uh, after getting hit with the mace, just okay. bare his teeth and reach out, grab the knoll, I guess, on the wrist, and he's going to cast... Um, he will cast a level 2 Inflict Wounds. Okay, that is a constitution saving throw, if I recall. That's a roll. Attack roll. Oh, attack roll. No, never mind. Cool. Roman hit. What did you get? 19. That hits. Roman damage. So that's 40, 10. Whoop. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy crap. Oh no. As Cole, as you grab his wrist and this necrotic energy seeps through his veins and into uh, a lot of his major organs, and you see him start coughing up blood and wheezing. Uh, what is your damage? A? 28 points in necrotic. Are you serious? 28? Alright. He is looking horrible. Oh shit. But still up. Uh, As Cole, as he as that's happening, you see he immediately goes and looks at his side. Mm. Underneath a coat that he would have. Mm. Alright, anything else, Cole? Oh god, is there anything else I can do? Um 
bonus action, he is going to cast um, Spiritual Weapon, just so it'll appear. Okay. And it's going to be basically like Mark Anthony's maw. Okay. And he's going to have it basically going right up to its uh, neck. It's his attempt as a means to intimidate, and it's like, don't you even think about it. And he'll say that in Abyssal. <gasps> when you say it in Abyssal, he's definitely paying attention to you. Mm. Roll an intimidation. Okie dokie. Oh my god, please. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nat 20. 23. Okay, his hand's hovering over his side. And he's looking at you. He's just dead looking at you. Alright, with that. <laughs> going up to Oleg. Uh, Alright, as I'm switching maps, one second. Oleg, what do you do? As you hear, you see a bright light shine from uh, where their stairs are at, through the windows and open door. Uh, you hear grunts uh, from an enemy. What do you do? Going to this door here, you know, checking to see if anything's coming up or anything like that, and I'm not okay. seeing anything. So I just want to make sure there's nothing in this room to come out and sneak up behind us. Let me reveal the room for you. As uh, you open the door, um, you see stairs well leading upward uh, to another door. Behind that door is another door. Yeah, the, the, there's a theme. <laughs> yeah. So, Let's do the next uh, door. Uh, as you Why? open that door, you will see a hole leading downward. And then to the left, uh, there seems to be a path. That path and is another door. I'm trying, making sure that nothing <laughs> that is not supposed to be revealed door. is revealed. Always. Always. But there is a door. <laughs> My bonus move, I guess. Uh, you, uh, since you moved, you can use your action to move again. Um, I'll, I'll give you the opening the doors. So that'll be your bonus action, sure. All right. Okay, well, I'll just uh, look around and make a decision on my next move. Okay. As you do so, what is your passive perception? So your perception plus 10, what would that be? If you roll perception. the d20. Yeah. yeah, so if, as if you roll the d20, but it's just a 10. So what would that be? Uh, 10, 10, 20, 30, 20. Your passive perception plus 10? I just rolled a t uh, 10 on 10 sided dice. Oh, no, no. If your perception number, it, uh, oh, okay. pretend okay. if you. Okay. That, yeah, 11. if you. Yeah, so what would that be? 11. 11? Okay. Then uh, at the moment, you hear nothing. Okay. Nor see anything of interest. Okay. So, now to the knoll down below. As uh -huh. I should probably switch you guys there too, so you guys can also see. Uh, oops, uh, up, 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 there we go. As he looks at you in, in Abyssal, you're not the first to try to get this. There'll be more. You're gonna have to what? You're not the first to try to get this. There will be more. As... I'm going to roll a dice to see if he does which magic item is he going to use. Oh. Okay. I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. I thought he's going to use the the elven wine magic item. Dirty 20. Okay. As the mace pulsates and you, feel, you take a step back and just and shrug off the fear effect. Oh, Can I use a reaction? Sure. Hellish rebuke. Let me look at something. I think you need to be a tap. It has to be physical damage. Oh, it has to be. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Then never mind. Okay. With that, it is Wes's turn. Wes, what do we do? Right. And I'm moving uh, over to the new map. The older map. Okay, I guess, um... 
because I didn't hear what Ariel said because that was into the Sunning Stone. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep going downstairs because I was told Cole's downstairs, so. Okay. 25. Get All right, let me copy you and move you to the new map. Sweet. Be like, <coughs> Cole, what you doing? As you uh, go down there. You find anything? You, uh... 25. Uh, we'll get you here, right? So, at the bottom of the stairs. I was like, oh, and you see Cole <laughs> interacting with a gnoll. And there is a mole on his throat. And the mole has a, uh, a mace in between him. And his hand almost like in a... Uh, um, uh, like a cowboy position, like hovering over something underneath the cloak. Do you need help? Do you, I already. Oh wait, I didn't use my reaction. No, correct, you no. did not. Please. <laughs> All right, Wes, what do you do? All right, uh, I'm gonna. You see that uh, when he looks at you to say please, he has a large hit on his face. Like he, okay, the cool. kid took some damage. It's All right. Fun. <laughs> Thirty. 30, 40 gets me right in front of him, and I'm gonna grapple that motherfucker. All right, roll me uh, athletics. Sweet. Versus his. Okay. Uh, what did you get? I got a twenty. That is a sixteen. So you are. How are you grappling him? All right, so essentially I'm rushing forward. I'm going to use uh, my hand to grab the one that's going for his side, and I'm going to grab it and kind of, like, hook it up behind his back while I'm putting my other arm around his throat. Okay. Just... I want West to oh, no. roll me percentiles. Oh, no. Freaking nervous. Oh, good lordy. So that's a 90. 90? Okay. 90. As Zero. you grab him and he struggles, you get a, a few scratch marks. It would have been worse if you worked like he uh, moved your abdomen uh, to the side as he's trying his best to get away from you, but you are able to grab him and subdue him. And as you spin him to make sure that you have him correctly, you see, since his hand was so close to the bottle and you jerking him made him uh, release the bottle from wherever he had it under his coat. And you hear, Ching! as the bottle slits underneath and the cap just hit the corner of the room. And the entire castle hears it's just a fire erupts from the bottle itself and you all hear in every language that you know simultaneously help oh no oh no oh west oh my god god damn it as the fire oh keeps erupting god. you see that gets close and only west and cole this time here so like the the cap like resealed itself. What the fuck was that? As it doesn't matter what you're doing, the null is looking at that bottle. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Wait, this hooking him up. So Aria leaves you alone for five <laughs> minutes, and you unleash <laughs> the <laughs> devil himself into the world. <laughs> Rognar, what do we do? As you all heard that, every single person heard that. I'm gonna fly straight out uh, all the way over here. But... Technically, I didn't unleash the devil himself. I'm best friends with the devil, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. I don't know how much movement that is. Uh, 5, 10, 15, you're down. So let me okay. copy you. And put so 15 you in... or 25 total? Or 15 total. Uh, 15 total, and you're downstairs. Oop, I didn't move the... Sorry. Mm, there's three of us. <laughs> yeah, now now there's... now, And you are here. Okay, like right here or right here? Or right here? Right there. 
Best 15? Yes. Okay, where's my two babies? I will get them in a minute, Jeremiah. Oh my god, excuse me. So Jesus, where did the bottle land again? I give me a second. I'm um, sorry, so I'm many nervous. maps. <laughs> no problem. Uh one second, one second. Uh, I'll um I will get a uh, a mini to represent the the uh, oh that's not what I want this. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Could I, could I, could I, could I? Go like this. Uh, I will, I will get you, uh, I think I can. Let me see if I can get you, uh, a bottle. Oh, no, I deleted it. I'll try to get you a bottle in a second. For right now, we're gonna use the DNC logo. Uh, right there. Alright, so, Bronarf, you ran 15 feet down. Um, to so signify... You. Signify, I'll be right at the same square as Cole, but I'll just put me myself right here at the wall. But okay. I'm right here by where Cole is. Um, 15, 20, that's 25 feet. Um, so if, if Brahm is there, that's 10. So then 15, 25, In addition to what Brahm already moved, yes. Yeah, okay, that's 40, 15. 20, 25, 30, right there. So I'm right here. By I'm right here. I'm just putting myself here for many purposes. Um, I was like, what the, what the, what, what, what the fuck is that? And then I'm looking at this guy. I was like, I'm gonna attack him, but with uh, uh, what's that called? Non-lethal. Non-lethal damage. Okay. I'm gonna hit him with the hilt of my axe, basically. But yeah, so. I'm gonna attack you with my axe, but like the blood end like, Alright, <laughs> roll me hit. Uh I guess just one attack for now and then the sec I'll do a second attack later. I'll i I'll still use my axe or my is this an arm strike for you you can use your axe, yeah. Okay, so that is a sixteen. Sixteen hits, roll me damage. Okay. Uh, 14. 14. As you hit him with the blunt end of your axe, it doesn't look like it's struggling. His head just goes down. And his head's going down in the direction towards where that bottle was. Like, his attention is um, super fixed on that. If if I'm checking, he's, is he unconscious or no? Uh, You already attacked from your perspective at the moment. He looks conscious. Oh, then I would need you to roll it. me a medicine check next round. Oh, I guess I'll do it again if he doesn't look unconscious. Like his head's down. Like he just he just looked like he dropped. You if he's down, I'm so short. They're like, <laughs> yes, his, his head's down. His eyes are closed. You can look at that. Sure. <laughs> uh, where's the bottle again? Where was the DNC thing? Oh, oh, there's a oh, there's a mini of a bottle now. Oh, we actually have a bottle. Nice. Like. What, what we're moving on up. What the fuck is that bottle? Don't touch it. Wait, is that the bottle? Don't uh, touch it. Uh, I, since I used my action to punch him, or not really punch him, but uh, try to knock him out. Mm -hmm. Sure, I have another attack. I'll just do it. I have my extra attack, basically. I'll just <laughs> nick him a little bit. Okay. Still not lethal. I don't know if he's conscious or not. But I'll so just do it. Okay, uh, so you're hitting again. Uh, can I use an arm strike on this one? You or can. It, it it has to be my axe. You can use an arm strike if you would like. That's that's to find you. Roll me hit. I don't know if he's dead or unconscious. Uh, sure, I'll do it. But I... Okay. But. If this is an arm strike, so this is going to be my punch. Yes. So first, so, if you hit. So no proficiency bonus, just a straight up attack plus uh, strength. Plus six, so it's a 14. Eight Four, plus six. 14, 14 just hits. So oh. your damage is one plus your strength. Yep, that's three. Three points of damage. <laughs> okay. I was strong. I am strong boy. You are strong boy. As uh, 
He goes limp from the hip, uh, from the axe, and you saw, obviously, uh, Wes, you saw that as a blunt end, and then Rowan up just goes, <laughs> punches him right in the face. <laughs> Is All he right. unconscious? Uh, uh, before I end, like, is he conscious? We need to fight. Like, I'm like, I don't know. He's, he's limp, dude. He's he's he got heavier. Jostling slightly. Fight him. Up. I think. And I haven't used my bonus action. Can I use a bonus action to just take off my rope? That's it. Sure. Yeah. It's fine. Or no. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, then I'll just go boop rope. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, I'll have a rope. Aria, <laughs> what do we do? Aria left us unsupervised. This is what happens. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> let's, uh... Man, I wish I had, like, Fireball. I really went with the wrong class. <laughs> um, you can get all face multi-class. I'll just... I'm just make probably, with the uh, giant devil guy. It's fine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, just put a pin in this for, for now. Uh, well, actually... Looking in, does it look like there might be a way to possibly, like, lock the door to keep them from coming out? I mean, I can think of a hundred ways to do that, but uh, from your perspective, it is a empty hallway with a torch lighting up the room, stairs going up and down, and then the door. There's nothing else within that room. Hmm. Man, it'd be nice if I had an immovable rod. All right. Well, I'll just be like, I'll put a pin in this, and I'm going to go see if I can find my buddies. Okay. Who disappeared, <laughs> and it's been a hot second since I've heard from them. It's you heard been like five Except seconds. for a lot of yelling from you some heard. demonic something or other, and I don't like it. You, you heard a, a plea for help in Celestial, Elven, Common, any other language that you know, all at the same yeah. time. I need to uh, see what the fuck West is doing. West, somehow, I know it's, it's you. Somehow it's West's fault. Something happened. <laughs> West! What did you do? Nothing. All right, so uh, are, you, are you just going to move? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try to catch up with all them. Okay. Yeah, ever they may be. Okay. Uh, if you're just gonna, oh my god, it's like I can't. No. I... So that's 45 feet to get to the stairs. And then if you want to go yeah. below, I'm gonna move. Whoop, let me first copy you. I will do my double movement fly speed. Okay. Definitely get there. to get there. And uh, yeah, you see the entire commotion. You are down below. Um. Cop paste. There we go. Um, you uh, you see the end of Ragnar punching someone as uh, the knoll goes limp in uh, Wes's arms. You have uh, see a warm bath, food, bakery. It smells delicious down here. It's really warm. There's a lot of torches. That's double movement. You still have a bonus action and you can speak as always. Cole, you'd be on deck and then Oleg. I will kind of I will West is too far away for me to do that actually. Um just smack me? I mean Yes. No. Uh <laughs> <laughs> just pulls I will... it off and just goes back. So I'm gonna kinda of scan the room. Mm hmm And my gaze is just gonna fall right on West. Alright. Because, I mean, there's only, like, one person in here that I would think could possibly do something so stupid. <laughs> and I'm going to look at <laughs> look at him and just say, what did you do? Bottle. Points to a bottle on the crack As of I'm the wall. A half, like a fully limp null, just like, bottle. <laughs> I want to touch it. That's all I'm going to say, and that'll be my turn. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to use my reaction mm -hmm. to... 5, 10, 15. <laughs> oh. uh, cool. Rogner, He's what going... <laughs> Ariel, nobody touch it. Cole. Yeah. Rogner, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to use a reaction just to say, well, like, that's the button we're supposed to grab for that one tiger dude. Do you want demons? Because this is how you get demons. Yes. 
No, how you get demons is they kind of show up uh, in your dreams, and then they're just like, hey, man, do you want some magic spells? And then you're like, yeah. I was going to move in front of it and just look at it, and it's like, um, okay, um. Careful. Does it have like a, a like a, like a, no not, not a string, it's just a bottle? It is just a bottle with the cork on the end. It looks very mundane, like the cork looks like uh, a gross, overgrown, uh, uh, not overgrown, like um, um over-soaked, like, wine bottle cork. Gross. It doesn't look fancy at all in comparison to the rest of the bottle. What's nice the joke that we have, Vic, over. where you hold it, hold something up like this? Like a gay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna just, like, lean down carefully and pick it up, like, not to pull the cork, but hold it up by, like, the neck of the bottle okay. and just carefully places it in his bag. You get right. two face palms. I, I imagine, I imagine whenever Cole skitters over, you just hear, like, a little... Because uh, you put it in uh, which bag? I need to know. Uh oh. He's the, he'll think of he's gonna consider putting it in his bag and then just stop. You die. And then look over at Ragnar. Can I put this in your bag of holding? That's a, oh wait no I use my reaction. So I guess uh, he says that. Oleg, moving into <laughs> another map. What are you doing? Oh no. We're full of good decisions here. <laughs> that, you no, you saw never. Ariel fly over since the door is open. See, I even redeemed the I've got an idea, but it's really stupid before all this happened. Uh, <laughs> if you want, uh, Oleg, right you can just make your way down there. I can just move you to the other map if you want me to do that. I'm going to this door right here. There you go. Uh, which one? Sorry. Uh, okay. As you open the door, um, you see a nicely lit fire with uh, a gnoll currently throwing half a torso inside, a couple of tables with body parts being eaten, um, and yeah, let me reveal the area. Because uh, uh, now oh. I will add them to the initiative board. At a at a tan. Control you. You are a tan. So with that, it's gonna move in front of this individual. Okay. Um Alright, yeah. So, okay, roll me to hit. Twelve, twenty-eight, twenty-six. 28, 26 for sure. Give me one second about the 12. 12 misses. Roll me damage. Uh, 11, 12. Uh, 29. As you go, impale him, swing your sword up, cut him, uh, and before you're able to do your third strike, the null just falls to the ground. And the other one just growls and uh, looks like it's about to lunge at you. Uh, but that is your turn, unless you want to say anything. Um, bring it. All right. With that, we're going over to uh, the other map, because it'll be Wes's <laughs> turn very soon. Um, okay. Uh, Wes... You feel a almost like a sigh leave the null. Oh. And now he he was he dead weight, but now he feels no, yeah, he just feels the same. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of like put him down it like against the wall just like just set him down just like okay, okay we're okay all right he's against the wall he's not in the wall he's against it he's against it i, I, I just bethesda clip him through the wall just like stay there a minute <laughs> hang out there i gotta i gotta i gotta go through my inventory <laughs> all right so what do you do west um I guess I'm just kind of like, 
looking at Ariel, just like, I came down here and this was happening. Don't, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Over here to, to, to Cole. This Cole currently has a bottle like... Eh. Hold on, I have the perfect prop for this. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, she has a prop. Alright, so Wes, what are you doing? You just go over to him? Uh... Uh, I'm gonna... I guess I'm just gonna... Since Cole has it handled, I'm gonna... Oh, she has a bottle. I'm gonna just kind of, like, skirt by and just kind of uh, check out what's over here. Just gonna hold the bottle, like... <laughs> as soon as you open the door, let me reveal the area for you, you see five beds. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. Reveal oh. area. And a door to the other room. Mados. Another door! <laughs> it's almost like this is a keep and things live here. <laughs> you see three no. torch lights, uh, five beds, kind of made. One looks like it has a scratch mark on the on the pillow. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess. Um... That's that's all I'm gonna do because right. it's like okay I guess that's fine for now. Okay, so we're going over to the other. No. Uh, At this point, I swear to God, I'm just going to buy one of those little monkey backpacks with the leashes. Five, ten, fifteen. And that's what West is going to have on at all times. I love West, how you say West you can and contain not West. Cold. He's <laughs> moving over to attack you, and that oh my god, that's pathetic. That is, I believe, a twelve as he lunges with the spear, and you kind of just. Parry easily, Oleg, and that's that's that Noel's turn. Uh, Rognarf, we're going to you. Switching maps. What Please do you do? Please take this. Please take this. Oh, no, the map. Okay. Um, I guess with that Noel being there, I, I guess I'll just use my action to tie him up. Okay. Since so no, I have a rope, nobody grabbed it, so I'll just use it. I'll okay. do it. As your action. Uh... Uh, I will say it's an action to tie him up. Okay. But, um, Do you need me to roll? No. No? Uh, okay. Not for this one. As you're tying him up. Tying him up, gag him, you know, all that jazz. Just got him up. Uh, what is your wisdom? Me? Yes. 14. There is there's something off about this no. You don't like something's weird about him. You just something's off. Hmm. But you tie him up. He's gagged. So bonus action if you wanna do anything. Oh um with that too I'm gonna be like wait, now did Wes give him a bag? Right? West gave Cole a bag? No. To put it? Oh, no, no. no Cole asked uh, Rognarf, can I put uh, this in your bag? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this time to answer Cole that looks like a ominous ominous bottle. I'm not gonna use that in my bag. You have a bag of holding, right? No. <laughs> this is this is Rognar being, you know, like you're a traveler, you're supposed to have one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You can't just assume everyone has a bag of holding yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. No, no, this is the wrong time to assume me. everyone yeah. has one, because he has, has one. one. <laughs> Makes sense. So, uh, anything else, Rognar? <laughs> That's it. All right, Ariel. Uh, I'm not really going to use my bonus. I don't okay. have anything to do with uh, I'm going to say, until the combat is over, we're still doing the turn order. Um, unless you're like, I'm not going to really do anything to interact, you can skip my turn. That's totally cool, like, too. If, if I... Look at him. Mm -hmm. Well, I I used my action already, but yeah, is there a way that I can use my passive or something like that just to look? He is he okay? Yeah, that's or why is that's that where your wisdom. Yeah, he okay, there's okay, something okay. off about him. Yeah, and I guess I'll just, I'll just uh, voice that out and say like, he feels off. He looks unconscious, but not. I swear I didn't kill him, and that that's and my turn. Though. All right. all right. I 
I'm gonna look to Cole and just be like, you seriously do not have a bag of holding. No! <laughs> I have my satchel! Hold the bottle very carefully. Give me a few minutes. And That's what I'm, I'm doing! <laughs> transfer the contents <laughs> of one of my bags of holding into the other. Okay, so uh, I will Since I'm not that... carrying that dwarven armor anymore, it should be enough space. Because the only thing I really have in the other bag of holding is just uh, some money. Okay, sure. Keep track of what you're transferring. Sword. We'll, uh, we'll do yeah. that at, uh, after, after game. And, uh, and once that's screen. done, and once I have an empty bag of holding, I'm also going to probably like take out my my glaive and stuff, just so I'm, I'm like holding the glaive okay. and my shield the whole time, so that way it doesn't take up as much space. And then uh, the empty bag of holding, I will walk over to Cole. I'm going to pull out one of my row or one of my, my cloaks, and I'm just going to like kind of wrap it real thick in the cloak and put it in the bag of holding the empty bag of holding okay shit ever so gently as you grab the bottle wrap it in a uh, cloak stickly as you can place it in your bag of holding once you close your bag of holding you can swear this is the first time ever you feel the bag of holding just like add weight oh fuck it's not a mod, but it adds weight. Well, that's... I'll just say, like, well, that's new. Okay, I can put my prop down. <laughs> and I'm going to look around the whole, like, area here. We have so we have one unconscious knoll, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to look around and just say, everyone search these rooms. We have no stone unturned. Let's make sure we've cleared everything before we move on. And let's move on together. For the love of all that's holy. Speaking of, where the fuck's Oleg? <laughs> <laughs> Cole, is there anything specific that you want to do? Um, Cole does. Cole, is, aside from thinking Ariel, um, because he feels like the kid that's getting tr in trouble with dad, but uh, <laughs> or just this young, you know, younger brother that's just totally upset with you, or old, or whichever. Um, he's gonna go up to the knoll and investigate them. Roll me an investigation. Okie dokie, he what? Cause this, this bitch, um, did some, uh, damage to him, so. 21. Okay. Um, as you're investigating him, a couple things. You find that the mace that the, the, um, the cat man, as you say, uh, definitely has some odd ruins around it, and uh, they the ruins themselves look terrifying. Like it's you don't see a triangle and say, "Oh, that's scary." For some reason, these runes look scary to you. Mm -hmm. um, you remember him saying that he had a magical. You feel around his hands, and you you can't help but to feel leather. Yet he, his hands is completely naked in addition as you reach around and you notice that he's not breathing and then you kind of go over to look at him and he's definitely not breathing whoops the first attack knocked him unconscious second attack hits he went from zero to do two death saves on his turn he failed his third death save whoops <laughs> Damn, Ragnar! He goes, he and that he goes to zero. From zero, he got hit, so <laughs> two failed deaths. And then. Ragnar is just looking at his small, tiny hands. Oh, Your uh... gauntleted hands <laughs> that are encased in metal? <laughs> hey, hey it's that man is the crush, so Cole's gonna just be like, guys, oh shit, he dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, uh, and. Oh shit. <laughs> but aside from the mace, there was nothing else. Be fine for the mace. Uh, the odd texture of leather on his hands, even though he has nothing on his hands. Um, that's that's all he. Yep, that's all he had. No gold, no nothing. Broken string for where he was keeping the bottle. Kind of just loosely hanging on him. Uh, 
Detect magic. Okay. Uh, every piece of magic that you normally has seen on your friends. Mm -hmm. um, the, his gloves and his mace. Cole's going to just take the gloves then, I guess. As soon as you take off the gloves, they look like these. When you take them off of his hands, they're just brown gloves. Mm -hmm. like, uh, they, they don't have any fingertips on them. Mm -hmm. Alright, you have invisible gloves and a mace. And until you identify what these things are, that's what you have. With that, okay. Oleg. There is a guy who tried to, to attack you with the spear and miss. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me attacks, please. Right. 27, Hit. 30, 20. Hit. And is that one of seven or one? Hold on. That is a. Who knows? So that's uh, 11. Okay. Uh, if that wasn't a uh, one roll of d20 again, just make sure you don't get another one. Uh, so... roll the one again? Yeah, roll the one again. To com so you that's a critical miss. Well, let's see if we confirm the critical miss. That is a step. Okay, cool. Then then you're fine. So roll me two attacks. Uh, that's a 15 and a 20. Okay. Uh, plus 12. 26 points. 26 points. As the spear misses, and it's like, that's a, that's cute. Two slashes right to the chest before you uh, reach your blade up for the third one. Pfft, just falls over dead. Uh, I'm going to investigate the room. All right. Um, since that was your action, uh, we'll uh, and it says all the enemies are dead. Also, yeah, roll me investigation, and then we'll go to the other group. So yeah, so this would be essentially what. Uh, yeah. So what did you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. You uh, you see that? What was for <coughs> dinner was uh human as you kind of reach over these chests and it open up it's just filled with body parts uh the armor over here uh you see has uh some dings and arrows and it kind of looks like it was being used as target practice and there's uh blood on the inside as though somebody was wearing it and they kind of just put it up to uh instead of decor uh sorry uh um use as decor uh you see the stairwell going up and uh, you hear a couple of noises downward, um, and you recognize some of your friends' voices down below. I'm heading downward. Okay. Let me copy and move you to the other map. Uh, Alrighty. And you will appear down here. Boop. And as you appear, let me reveal the area because it is completely open. Uh, you see uh empty uh jail cells um a door to the left of you um and oh i should reveal more of the area and with a little bit of probing as i'm just going to for the sake of time <laughs> as uh wes you uh as oleg just appears on the other side of the door from where Adam you were <laughs> Literally just going from, hey, where the fuck is all like, oh, I found him. <laughs> and with a couple of rooms been explored, the infamous bottle fastly uh, uh, grabbed and in a bag of holding. We're going to go on break and we'll be back in a bit. So uh, think about what you guys want to do. The party reunited. Which is easier for me now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll be back in a bit.
Jesus, I'm breaking the fourth wall. I'm coming at you, just telling you there's some cool things that you can get. Like this mask, for instance. You can also get something like this shirt right here with our logo on it. You can't have this one, this one needs to be washed. There's also things that you can get with our logo on it as well, like a sticker. You can get a button if you want to. I don't know, I ain't your mama. You can get a cool book, look at this. That's Wes, when this got inside him. That's not provocative. Just letting you guys know that I'm breaking the fourth wall here. You can get stuff. You can go down below and you can like type, type, type and go to T Public and get some cool things. Like this shit right here. You can get anything you want except for the things that we don't have. You can't get those there. And just also, just if you want to be a cool bro and you want to like, I don't know, subscribe or uh, it's just a couple bucks a month and it comes to us and it's really, really cool. Well, I'm done breaking the fourth wall. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a DM now. That's why you all all right. <laughs> Bye guys. We're just we're just going to leave. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> It's right there! <laughs> it's right just, there. just turn around! Just turn around! <laughs> That's my wife! We pronounce her name in the appropriate lizard tongue is Daddy. Daddy? Daddy. Uh, alright. Oh no, squid! Oh no, gross! Jeremiah, no! I, I just came up here! I nothing wrong with that. So I eat this. And your Facebooks <laughs> are the same as they've always were. <laughs> I've been staring, I know. Big and beautiful. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my. Because, you know, sometimes friendships require having to give people space so you don't have to always constantly be breathing around their neck and, like, having to always be pestering and responding to every little thing. You know, it's almost as if you're individual hey, people hey, that have your hey, own hey. lives. Stop projecting, it's Yuri's time. <laughs> I can build this. Hey, should I? Hey, I got three Molotovs. I'm ready for war. Bro, who has time for math at a time like this? <laughs> Wes, I, I need you to stop counting, please. I gotta go find a Sharpie. <laughs> bye bye. This is gonna be like that time I passed out at the football party, except with smiles instead of dicks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Oh, run, 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 run! Oh my god, yes, yes! Fucking run! 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 Stare into his eyes, Jeremiah. You gotta stare into his eyes. Look at your face! <laughs> <laughs> My face! Run! Move! What the fuck was <laughs> that? What the fuck was that? Bro. Oh, it's a <laughs> You done fucked up now, boys. Jeremiah. Oh, it's, it's Jeremiah. 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 You're gonna lose if you're gonna lose if you vote for me. I'm not lying to you, Nev. This is 100% me, I have Jeremiah, not Carabao. I got something to say. It's Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah.
Not it's Jeremiah. Neff, if you win, if Jesus Jess, wins. if you win, I swear to God. Jesus wins. It's not Jesus me. Wins. It's Neff. Jesus. 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 It's me. <laughs> God I'm damn it! I thought it was you for <laughs> real. Worst enemy. <laughs> God damn it! Houston, and I'm gonna throw Jesus into a fucking air duct. <laughs> it was Jesus's fault. I was just How was it my fault? Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like uh, my friends. Demi Doodle time. Wait, wait. And, okay. <laughs> actually, oh. <laughs> Jess, we have this issue where you actually <laughs> fuck me over during the editing more than actually helping. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my key, the dragon. See, look, I lift the tarp and there's a dragon in me. Oh. And the producers of this movie, who are incredibly talented in their own right, absolutely decided to just kind of go on their own little fantasy and, and totally take the imagination component of it that you would have playing the game and make it real. We're so out of focus. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's anarchy. We're not anarchy. <laughs> We're not gonna Hey guys, welcome to come roll with us. Come hang out with us. Uh, welcome to our Magic Night Stream, where we play magic and probably don't put it on YouTube because we always end up saying stupid shit. Joker, let
welcome back. Hello. So, we did it. As you guys <coughs> have the bottle, unfortunately, your uh, friend, your the Noel, dead. You uh, he's dead. He dead. We weren't on a first name basis, so is he really a friend? Uh, that's why I said your <laughs> friend Noel, then that guy, that guy over there. You know, Noel. I remember yeah. that um, that King Shaw said his name, but. <laughs> King Shaw did say his name. Oh fuck! Mm -hmm. I, I wrote it I down. Completely left West's brain and 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 Vix. <laughs> so, which is in character? Brog is there. Brog. Um, you uh, West, you're, as you see, Oleg, and kind of get this since like at least you guys are fine right now. There is a odd curiosity that starts filling the air. Specifically coming from your nostril area, as there's just like really good bread around. So, back bonds, what do you do? Sorry, it cut off to me. Oh, like, I don't know what you just said. Bread. There's it smells bread. like bread, man. Oh, okay. It's like baked bread. Yeah, Wes oh. is gonna, um. Hmm. I guess just announce it to the party. Just like, I don't know what our plans are from here, but we should probably go check on Addy and Grog soon. Um, I, uh, I also, now that this is seemingly taken care of, um, I had mentioned it to Cole, but I think y'all are a bit busy. There's a, a room upstairs that we did not look into, and I could hear chanting on the other side of the door. I believe we should, um, stop whatever it is that they're doing before complete it. Uh, Cole's gonna just be like, excuse me for a second, and he's gonna take one of the greater healing potions that he has, and he's gonna drink that. Okay. Um, I'm, I guess, I guess with this now, too, I, I'm gonna go to um to Oleg. Yes. I'm like, hey. Uh looking at Oleg, can I tell what kind of armor he has? Uh yeah. Uh, I believe he has that as well. Okay, Oleg, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Uh what kind Hello? of leather uh studded leather? I believe so. Cool. Because Oleg's a fighter, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Fighters are proficient on all armors, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm going to pull out the half plate armor that we found, that one. And I'm going to like, hey, this, this will give more defense. You want to wear this instead? Sure. Yeah. Why not? So, Oleg. Your it one it will, but your armor first of all is magical what you have on, and mm. uh, the half plates will limit your movement in terms of. I don't know if it's it, it actually helps you because you're so dexterous. Okay, yeah, because of and his uh, dexterity. armor gives disadvantage on stealth. Yeah, it does give disadvantage. Yeah. So you'll be noisier. You'll have the same HP AC. But you'll be noisier, and uh, it is not magical. Who's this? Me? Yes. yes you. No, I don't want it. Okay, so if if the the one he has already is better, if I if I can kind of tell like if it's magical with my artificial eyes, then I was like, well, maybe this is not a better armor if with that. If it's going to make me noisier, right? no, not interested. Oh, also, when we get when we get time for. A long rest. I want to borrow your sword for one hour. For reasons. <laughs> as I as I tap on my axe as well. For reasons. <laughs> I guess there would be a question of can we take a short rest? We're in the we're in the enemy stronghold, so I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> West's opinion will probably be we should get 
we should check out that chanting as quickly as we can. Do we yes. need to rest? I think we do. Mm, at the moment, I don't really need a rest. Hey, Cole, you need some healing? A little bit. I'll go over there and... Do I have potions? Hey, speaking of, Oleg, where the fuck did you go? <laughs> That's too late. I'll lay on hands, Cole, for 10 HP. Thank you. Okay, if that's the case, if you're gonna just... Then I'll be good. Okay, so you don't need any more healing? No, I mean, I'm pretty almost full. I'm almost uh, max, so... Well, I have a normal potion, if you didn't want that. I was gonna give you... I only have a potion of healings and greater potions. I can just give you one regular potion. Sure. You can drink that. 2d4 plus 2. And then, I guess let's go ahead and, uh, where is the chanting? Uh, Ariel, where is the chanting that you... It's upstairs. Do you remember when you entered this building, the main hall? Okay, I'm at There would Max, have been a doorway so. to the left. It's through there. Oh, that door. Oh, that ominous door that I wanted to enter later. <laughs> um, do we hear the chanting from here or no? Mm. I okay, do roll then... d20, though. If that's the case, then I'll try to go go up, then. Okay, hey. cool. Yeah. All right, if you guys are going to go up, I'm going to copy uh, you all, so give me one second. Just in case, I think you're all still in the same, up uh, the other, like, floor, but just in case you're not. Okay. Now I have you copied. As you all go to the first floor. I'll leave everybody here, just because I don't need to copy anybody. Uh, come on, moving characters. <coughs> Alrighty, I believe that is everybody except for Addy. Please double check. Yeah, I think Okay. So, you guys all go upstairs. Uh, yes, yes, no, and no. Okay, cool. That's all I needed to know. That's, that's, uh, read my spell, how it works. So, oh, no. what do you guys do? I will be staying within about 10 feet of everyone, trying to at least, walking up towards the, uh, the door. Alright, well, who be all's minis, please? Going to the spooky <coughs> room. Check yep. the place out oh, yeah. and get the hell out. I will remove that because I am not doing locate object anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'll move this way. Yeah. And I guess I'll move this way. As I my shield you out, get closer to the door. Cast, um, mm -hmm. uh, shield of Faith is fall on myself. Okay. Because you cast Shield of Faith on you. Uh... <laughs> You hear the obvious chanting inside. What do you guys do? Um, I'll look back to them, and I'll like kind of hold my my boot out, about to kick the door, and I'll look back to them like, "Are we ready?" Wait, wait, we're just smiling do it. with the sword out. Kick. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna kick open the door. See what's inside. Uh, as soon as you do, yeah, not a good idea. Need a passive perception from uh, Ariel, unless you're taking your action to look. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no, I have a 15 passive perception. Oh, 15. All right. Why does it keep one? And reveal area gets selected, and it gets darker. Oh my god. Reveal area. Okay. Reveal area. That's absolutely not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Why does okay? We'll do it. We'll do it. That's your just, just killing us. We'll do it the long way. Okay. Did it reveal anything? I don't think it revealed anything. No. What no. the hecking? All right, there no. we go. Darkness Seven times a charm. Friend. Ah, ah. As, there's a something. As you kick the door open. You said fifteen. Yeah. Brogna, what is your passive perception? 16. 16. Mm. Okay. Show off. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Narf, what do you see with your special eyes? <laughs> uh, my my shield is the one seeing for me. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> my twitchy eye shield. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see a knoll on her knees oh, with her bitch. hands in an altar praying, as she's mummering things in abyssal. You see that she kind of gets up as she stands. Um, you see that uh, her midriff is showing these uh, dark and red rows kind of covering half of her body. Um, she's dressed for more like a summer, different tropical uh, climate than here. As she looks at all of you, and places her hands together. So, are you here to kill me as well? And Ariel, she does not look like the no priestess that you saw earlier. Oh. Although she is adorned with necklaces and emblems of Lamashu, clearly. On top of the uh, mantle where there that, used then. to be a... Uh, you can clearly tell... The, uh, the background emblem of uh, Paylor's son removed, and it's a three-eyed jackal. Mm. Mm, don't like that. So, as I need to look through a hundred tabs, one second, uh, that's what I wanted to see. Okay. Cole's gonna peek in. Uh, Cole, you need to move to where uh, Rognar would oh, be. Shit. Oh, did I not okay, send well... Okay. So I don't block his um, his icon. Can I say that he was that yes, he's yes. basically same in the same space as Ragnar? Yeah. Okay. I imagine like Ragnar's peeking through the door, and then Cole's just like one head above, standing above him. Yeah, just like peek. Mm. As she looks at you, what is your passive perception, Cole? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mm. Okay. Telling you the same thing. Um, Lord. As he looks at you, or are you more civil than the other surface dwellers? Oh, wrong person. Well, my bad. Oh, delete oh. it. I won't look <laughs> at it's it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's uh, <laughs> you're fine. Where are you? This uh, rock. There you go. My bad. Sorry. I'm a little the, like Pop, the rock. You're like, like the same. rock. Sorry, I clicked the wrong person. Um, That's okay. And she takes a step down from the pedestal. I see her bare feet uh, kind of slip through the uh, the veil that she has, uh, the, the long skirt. You see easily uh, Oleg, Ariel, uh, Rognar, and technically Cole. Um, not a single... Cut, scratch, uh, off shape fur. She looks like she's either never been in battle or never been hurt. Her eyes are glowing um, this deep, deep red. Yes, Cole? Um, Cole's gonna, with what he saw, is gonna go in between Ragnar and Ariel and put his hand on their shoulders, just basically kind of just stopping them if they're going to try to enter the room. As, uh... Um, and with what she had said before, he'll answer in abyssal about, like, you know, are you, um, here to kill me as well? So you respond to her in abyssal, are saying, are you here to kill me as well? Are you repeating what she said? No, he, no, 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 he's, to the question. Um, okay. responding okay. to the question right. in, uh, abyssal, um... Are you gonna text him yet? Is this uh, or say it out loud? That's it. A... Uh. Hold on. She takes a step further. You see, uh, uh, her um, hip has slight little jingles as these gold coins kind of clank against each other, and um, she takes off her cloak neatly folds it, puts it down on the bench nearby. Yeah, um, he'll respond in abyssal. Yeah. 
I will be civil. Um, as long as he's gonna kind of, like, gesture to, like, the sides from what you had texted me. She smiles. As long as they don't as long as they don't attack. They're some of my best and most loyal pets. They will not lift a finger, claw, or tooth. As you hear, um, two huge, huge, uh, deep, 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 uh, uh, howls of these hyenas. Is there inside the room with her? My headset died. From, yeah, it's coming from inside the room, yeah. Okay. As, uh, she quietly just, shh, and immediately you hear these, uh, the, the noise subsides, and as almost like claws scraping against stone. Come in, have a seat, young one. Do you speak for the lot? And she says this in a whistle. I can't really control what my party does. And then she says in a whistle to you, then I cannot control what my pets do. Cole's going to look to Ariel and Ragnarv and back to everybody in common. She won't attack as long as we don't. The one answers. Say it in common. So do I. <laughs> Loud, looking at the, the priestess woman. Okay. And she says in common, have a seat, please. This is just gestures, and she, you see that um, uh, she grabs a bowl that would usually be uh, Ariel, it's a uh, small but still a church for Paylor. Uh, this bowl would be used in many ceremonies to um, uh, either purify or bless forgivenesses uh, that people have done to uh, help them transcend into a more enlightened, quite literally light, state of life. And as you see that she grabs a bowl, usually it's filled with uh, holy water, uh, and in some cases, oil, um, depending on the rank of the uh, priest. And she just starts drinking it, and she puts it down. You see a trickle of blood kind of leave her uh, jaw. Please sit. Let's have, hopefully, a civil conversation. And as she smiles, you just can't help but to see the sharp, razor sharp teeth as she just grins. I look around, like when she does that, seeing that and seeing a bloom of Palo removed and the jackal over it instead. Mm -hmm. um, even though I've kind of darkened my hair, you'll see there's a little bit of a flash in my eyes and kind of the tips of my hair will like turn white for a second and then it'll go back to black because I like crying so hard right now not to like go off on her um Cole will walk in uh let me move his mini to like here okay and hold on because I gotta find something as a Cole, you step in, you see these Clydesdale size hyenas. This is on each hand, just burying okay. their teeth. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. What yep. a big popper. <laughs> uh -huh. Anybody else do anything? Um, hold on, I'm gonna find. Oh, and Cole's all the way over there. <laughs> well, how can they even get in the building? <laughs> they can squeeze. If their head fits, their whole body fits. Kind of. Okay. Let me see here. I'm using rabbit logic now. <laughs> fits, I said. Um. <clears throat> okay, so for whatever reason, it was never texted, but going back to the 
when Cole had found the one book at the previous keep, mm -hmm. the question that was asked to him was, what was the question that, I can't remember, what was the question that was asked to him? Like, um, I'll, I'll text it. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? You see Cole walk in, and uh, you hear the uh, heavy, like a large beast just get uh, uh, lower its head, and uh, Ariel, from the corner of your eye, you see the large, massive, maybe 50 to 60 pound head of this hyena just kind of put her neck down. Yeah, I really don't like the uh, whole idea of going inside this small room with these two very big things. Mm -hmm. Not feeling it. As much as I want answers from this woman, I don't. I don't think it was, it was something. Right. I don't remember the specifics, but it's something like, uh, "Who is our God's brother?" or something like that. Okay, so since we had like a little deal at the moment of truce in a way, Ragnar doesn't want Cole to be by himself over there, so he is going to march forward. Where Cole is, but onto the side. And Promise you, do, you, uh, you feel the heavy, moist air just coming from the nostrils of these hyenas as one just kind of lifts up, and her just uh, still sitting, but raising the front of her uh, uh, her arms, uh, her legs, paws, the front paws, mm -hmm. the front parts, or whatever it's yeah. called. Sorry. Um, as she's doing that, she's already about a foot taller than you. As a, uh, when you go in and you don't seem to be a threat or so, kind of just sits down. Uh, yeah. As and you're saying up. that okay. in abyssal, right? Cole? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, I don't understand shit. Yeah, uh, Ragnar, <laughs> what are you? Uh, as you're kind of walking in and Cole is speaking in abyssal, what are you doing? I'm just being here. I'm really just kind of, in a way, I'm guarding, in case shit hits the fan. I mean, they're with Cole, but right, Brum's just going to be right behind me, ski walk, landing on top of Brum. We're just kind of like in defense. Okay. She looks at you, and you all hear a word, uh, because it translates in all languages. That is the name of these entities. Nonsnata Pazuzu. As she responds. Mm -hmm. And then in common... Curious young one, how do you know of dead gods? <coughs> I'm always curious about looking into knowledge that's no longer there. Curiouser still, if you know of its name and you know of our Holy Mother, yet looks at you up and down like someone you you've gotten the feeling someone looking down at you and mm -hmm. it's it's and you hate that this is the first thought you have she's mm -hmm. looking at you like your mother looks at you when you did something disappointing uh -oh. mm -hmm. and you align yourself with the sun walkers after everything that they've done She looks towards uh, um, Rognar. You took the mountains and then you pushed everything either up below, further below, and you weren't content with your mountains. So you took the hills and the forest. Looks towards Ariel. I have no words but disgust for your kin. Feeling is entirely mutual. It's easy to look down upon someone when your father took everything from all of us, made us walk the night, be afraid of anything that shines bright, secluded down below, and yet you hunt us down. 
and will we try to take anything that was rightfully ours. We are the monsters. We're and looks towards Oleg and towards uh, Cole. The half-breeds, the outcast. Civil, aren't we? But what are you doing in my church? What do you want? <laughs> I can I can sense I can sense the displease of Ariel from twenty feet up. <laughs> the 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 heat coming from him. Yeah. Like, you, excuse me. <laughs> Your yeah. church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. Sorry. Uh, I probably missed it or something. Yes, did she ever say her name? No, she has not said her name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Just check. Anyone ask her name? Because then I missed that. No, oh, no I, think um, I, did. I was gonna say Cole would actually be nice enough to ask that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. See you. That's why. That's why I ask because same thing. I you know what? Ask her name. Could would be her. Name. What? It's K U D. Could. K U D. It's curious that you know a lot about our goddess and all the good that she's done. Why? Is she asking that to everybody? In or? common, everybody, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was taking notes. What was the question again? It's Sorry. curious that you know a lot about her god okay. and everything good that her god has done. Why? Why do you guys know so much? On one hand, Cole's just kind of like, I mean, I know bits and pieces, but... I, I don't really know a lot. I just kind of saw it here and there. So, better question. To the point before you were annoying this ruins my day. What do you want? want to know what your business is in this realm. As um, you hear <laughs> above and from, uh, just to show you the other map, you see Noel above you on a ceiling. So above this area, there's a banister <laughs> where people can look down and you see one Noel just looking down. Um, he looks like he has uh, leathers on and a scimitar, but you know that there's other floors and at least this floor is reachable from below so uh just to give you guys a picture uh boom so you'll be at see a null over here this guy okay. would have walked oh my gosh there we go this guy would have mm -hmm. walked over here this is uh, the balcony right you yeah said? this is the balcony this is where she's at yeah second floor yeah, this would be the second floor, correct? Okay. Um, just so you guys are aware that the, you know there's other things mm -hmm. above you, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, she asked her sure. question. What do you guys want? And I just asked mine. You know. Oh, yeah, what sorry. What was it? Is your business in this realm? We heard. She stands up. Like almost proud. Tired of eating scraps, being kicked out, and yet having, for my part, the most gold spreading to countries, yet your kings do not acknowledge it. We are useful when you need it and cast aside as monsters when you don't. 
our simple dances and prayers bring fear to you. So you hunt us. You enter our land that you've taken and taken and taken and call it your own. This castle was not part of the great divine's plans. Yet you put it here. And then get mad at the vermin who live around and the elk who live nearby. What am I doing in my own realm? Standing up, finally saying enough is enough. And soon, walk in the light as you do. For we will all, and she smiles, be cast into the shadows. What are you doing so far from here, from your realm celestial? I have my own journey, my own path to follow. Sure you do. Now, I've answered your questions. You've been civil. Enough to, from what I can see, only killed a few of my people, which I guess is considered mercy for the lot of you. She lends in. What is your next step? It all depends on what yours is. Sit here and pray. West is gonna uh, kind of move over into okay. kind of the doorway, just kind of like peek in as he's just listening to this. Um, is are you the one that the storm lords are calling the Doom Walker? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do not cast thunder and lightning from he who deems himself worthy. No. I, as she does, have a purpose to play. Unknown, I'm sure. She looks right at Ariel. We're all puppets to something bigger. So no, I am not a Goliath. Cole's gonna sigh when she mentions the whole thing about being a puppet and just say, indeed. Dang. I so see you're quite skillful, and if you really wanted, my life would be over in minutes. My pets could give quite a fight. Maybe take one or two of you out. But we are outnumbered. Don't think that I don't know that. So. I ask you. What are you going to do again? Are you going to... Rid this land of the... the Goliaths that it belongs to for Whitestone. You're going to just leave and let us have our home again. You're going to be in the way. Or do you think you can finally see in the night? And she closes her eyes as her head motions upwards and her arms extend. Finally see the blessings that our mother has given us. And 
let our children free. It sounds like a fool's answer to say that there's no way to comp that there has to be a way to compromise. You don't ask a beaten child to compromise to his abuser. You just ask his abuser to not beat in public. There is no compromise. There will be blood. She just looks at you very curiously, each and every single one of you. I don't think there's any fight for us here, guys. No. There's not. It's, you say that when she kind of goes over to the other side. You see that she gets a veil and puts it over her and turns her back to you as she drinks some of that blood from the bowl and starts praying again. So what, we just, we just leave? Gonna kind of whispering to Cole. Cole would nod. But aren't we supposed to? Never mind. I'm gonna go like that. And just kind of slowly march off outside, like all the way. I'll mark it, like all the way over. Oh, that's not what I planned. Like all the way outside, if nobody stops me, but I want to. <clears throat> you do. As you walk by, you'll see that the, the large hyenas kind of look at you, but, you know, they don't do anything. Um, really. yeah. So we're leaving. Well, Ragnar stepped out. Yeah, oh, I'll as accept. As Ragnar yeah. passes me, I, I'll, I'll just kind of whisper to him. Can't simply leave. This, uh, since you're whispering, said uh, Ragnar, for the only if, one that hears. If that it. was, yeah, if that was whispered, then I'll stop here. Okay. I'm gonna wait to see what Cole says or does, since Cole is still in the room. Uh, sure, fair enough. Cole, what do you do? I hold an action. Yeah, what's your action? Cole attacks, or if they attack Cole, I will unleash a level three hitting bolt sure. at the. Uh, fair enough. It's this lady. Good. <laughs> As you step, she's on her knees and looks at you, standing about maybe a foot or two uh, mm -hmm. lower than you. Looks at you and takes off her veil. Mm -hmm. Speaks in a whistle. Okay, I'm assuming yes. this is good. How can oh. I help you, horns child? <sighs> Um, he'll respond back in a vessel. Okay. Um, and he's gonna pull out the book that he had found from the other. Mm -hmm. And just ask, you know, were you the other recipient that I spoke with? Yes. Yes, I was. So it seems that you took the other... You got rid of some of our distant brothers and sisters. Other ones that do not walk freely. He's just going to set the, uh, the book uh, down next to her. Okay. 
Uh, let me see here. Um, because I'm trying to think of how he can work, how he'll word this. Sure. And, uh, you see, uh, are all of you guys that they're pretty much um, having like a very quiet conversation um, to themselves. And, uh, I hear the typing tippy tap tap. Sorry. No, you good? Uh. Oleg, uh, Wes, Ragnar, uh, what do you guys do? As you just see the Cole and this, uh, no priestess speak to each other. I guess. Does she seem to be, does, does Cole seem to be in danger? No. Um, the priestess is on her knees to begin with. Uh, they seem like they're just talking in a tongue that you have no idea. Wes is just like looking. He at first he's watching Cole and the priestess, but when he sees that it doesn't seem to be anything like dire that's happening, he will say that in a bristle. Jesus, he, he's just he's just looking at the hyenas and then just like kind of leaning over to like everybody, just like this is some really big dogs. Yes. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna wait wait it out, kind of. If shit hits the fan, I want to have a... Yeah, I was just waiting for Cole. Yeah. Okay. I guess a ready action as well. Not a total heathen. Like, I'll let them finish their conversation before I kill her, but, mm -hmm. you know. As uh, she looks at you, and then you, uh... After that, Cole, she'll grab you and pull you right to her face. Oh, God. Yeah, Cole's gonna look over to Ariel and just hold up a hand like, don't. And she'll whisper in abyssal okay. to you. <laughs> then you're a fool. Oh god. Oh. Just let you go. Oh no. I have no context. What did you say? Oh no. And you just uh, say? <laughs> she says that in abyssal. And then just uh, continues speaking to you. Yeah, she'll continue speaking in the whistle. Okay. <sighs> secret. Why are you talking okay. secret? Cole, oh, what's supposed I'll to be? Look over to West. Okay. And Ragnarv and Oleg. Just say. He cannot leave. Without clearing this entire fort. Are we. Ask them to leave? Because they're not attacking. They're not technically doing anything wrong in the moment yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna speak this as low as i can as as soft as ragnar can speak i would like all, all right room volume perception so after ragnar says so well. like full volume <laughs> so as soft everybody as can, uh, what? Uh, everybody uh cole you'll see it i want after ragnar finishes saying what he's gonna say i want everybody to run perception uh, I'm just gonna say, we're like, gonna look up West or like, and Ariel. Maybe you two have a point, but at the same time, we do have a mission from Whitestone to retake the keeps. I mean, I, I'm a little conflicted what to do. One, I don't like that woman telling me what to do. Two, my That's bigger the... concern is the Doomwalker and her hold on the Stormlords. That seems to be the bigger issue than just giving someone an empty fucking castle. That's true, too. Maybe she has information on this Doomwalker. Uh, I mean... Okay, with that, uh, Ariel, what did you get on your perception? Oh, I didn't roll perception. Uh, 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 Rognaf, what did you get? Eight. <coughs> Eighteen? Eight. Eight. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a pass, Wes. I assume Pretty that's a fail. Empty. It's always a success whenever I can count it on my hand. <laughs> All right, that's definitely a fail. Uh, Ariel, you pass. Oleg, what did you get? Say, Oleg, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, Oleg passes. As uh, in your last conversations, you see the her ears move. Mm. Oh, you obviously she, hear that. Let me see. She that. got. She got them. Oh, wait, what? She's the a doggo. Right? She's a hyena, excuse me. 
She yeah. said doggo. Good, <laughs> good, pup doggos. good puppo, thank you. Good puppo, she best puppo. A pupper, and she can hear things with her ears. She has very nice ears, thank you. And uh, she's going to look toward. She's looking at you, Cole, and speaking in, in uh, common. Mm -hmm. So, how many uh, of the cursed did you kill in the last one to take back something that did not belong to Whitestone to begin with? Mm -hmm. You put a brick down and you think that you own the land. Oh, I think, I think, I think either... as the gods have decreed, might is right. Mm. But then again, if you kill me, that means that you own this land too. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, okay. Yep. That was, that was something. Well, like, I, if I remember correctly, it's either Addy or West that was saying something like that. <laughs> on the meeting. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> on that meeting, it was like, uh, "Is are you sure it's yours?" <laughs> it might have been the druid. I'm trying to think how I can respond West to that. Really <laughs> Just. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. Just. If might is right. Did I hear this? Was yeah. this in common? It was in common. If might is right. And through conquest we can obtain their land. Your own logic. Clans didn't belong to you anymore. They belong to no one. This property is a concept that the ones who have power bring. Then you wouldn't mind leaving this keep, then. No one owns it. True. You're welcome to stay here and pray with me. <laughs> wouldn't demean myself to your level. <laughs> it's... She looks at you. Funny. For one such as old as you. To say such things. She looks at you. You do know your own history, do you not? I know enough. <laughs> she turns around and continues praying. They're going to kill me, do it quick. If not, I have prayers to attend to. Can I kind of look over it towards Cole? See what Cole's reaction is. Where did Cole, Cole go? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Tammy's still on. Cole! Oh no. I see her on Discord, but I don't. Okay, alright. I think she's oh, had no. issues. Did her computer do the thing? Oh uh, no! Oh no! I, I, oh no! I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the eventual <laughs> message of motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> oh there she oh, went. Yeah, yep. she went. Yep, there oh, it went. Man. I knew it. All right. Well, uh perfect timing. Cole is well, dumbfounded at the moment. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Cole isn't here. Then I'm just gonna kill her. <laughs> nope. Cole's coming back. You said that. Cole's coming right fucking oh, back. All right. Huh. Cole. Hello. You better uh, say something, otherwise things are gonna get pretty spicy. Sorry, what did I miss? My uh, thing, my computer died. What'd you miss? Um, like, what? Where did you I... stop at? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I. It was when Ariel said some. Uh, the whole thing about might, and that was when my computer. Oh. Kerpop. Yeah. Uh, was, I pretty much said like so. By your logic, no one, or by your logic, you don't own this land anymore because you know it was conquered out from you. Like, and she's like, no, no one owns the land. And I said, oh, well, if no one knows it, owns anything, then you wouldn't have a problem leaving this temple, would you? Mm -hmm. she's like, no, you're welcome to pray with me. And I said, I wouldn't demean myself to your level. She laughed and asked me if I knew who, like, my history. And I said, I know enough. And she's like, well, if you're going to kill me, do it quickly. I have my prayers to attend to. 
I so really I'm with Frank, and I just Addy looked at good. you, Cole. Mm -hmm. See kind of what your uh, what your body Reaction. language and facial reactions are, and see kind of sight, I guess, into Cole. Cole doesn't want any senseless bloodshed right now. He's just being civil. Oh, I don't know. How I that mean, goes. I mean, I don't know about senseless bloodshed. There are humans being thrown in the fireplace. And we are here to kill them. You so can see that. They, they are eating people. Did. So what I mean, do you they say did. about that? Senseless, senseless kill. Do you, oh do you mention God. that? Do you guys say that at all? I don't know. I don't know if Cole said oh. if Cole said that out loud. Then I'm so confused. Uh, um. Might be uh, the response that Rogue Cole, are you saying that you don't want senseless bloodshed uh, out loud? Yeah, it's like, I'm not looking for senseless bloodshed. You will say that. Okay. Are there any dead bodies like humans in here? No, not in this room. Not in this room, but we saw it in You, here, you right? saw it in a lot of chimneys. Oleg saw it in all the other chimneys. And Oleg did see a couple of gnolls eating some body parts and having chest full of human body parts. And I'll just say to Cole... If only she felt the same way about the previous occupants of this keep. Let me... I mean... So, this feels so awkward when you're basically race, a tiefling because you're somebody who would be considered, you know, monstrous and then... She kind I just of feel like in that weird... <laughs> so you raise cattle and eat them. You... Yet you keep a dog in your room. <laughs> You go oh, and she's, hunt she's hitting some points that are scary. Exotic <laughs> food. And you kill mammoths and eat them. You kill entire civilizations worth of critters, yet you're civil. Our tastes are a little more exotic, yes. But where is the difference between killing a dog and killing a cow versus killing a human? It's all flesh. As she licks her lips. So, you place the life of a person above the life of a mere chicken. Judgmental, are we not? I'm Vic, you good? I am uncomfortable with the energy we have created in this room. <laughs> yep, <I am. laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, God. I kill not those, lest they be deserving of such fate. Yes. I'm sure that your judgment is always just. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I have I, found a loophole, know, is what Wes is saying. Uh, I'm tired of waiting. I'm gonna Zephyr strike her ass. God. Okay. Because we're you, gonna have to do it eventually anyway. You bonus can I, action, Zephyr strike. Can I, Wes? Uh, can you can do something. He is moving at 90 <laughs> feet in a second. So yes, you are doing something cool, but at the same time, Ariel Zephyr strike. Yeah, he's gonna go. Whoop, whoop. Can I do something? <laughs> I think you said you yes. can, but Ariel's yes, like can. moving like a bullet train. So, Ariel, what are you doing? And then I'm going to hear what Cole is doing. Since Ariel. Uh, I'm going to Zephyr Strike onto her, and I'm going to do it with a second level Divine Smite, and I'm going to expend all of my Divine Points except for. Roll one. me to hit. Cole, what are you doing? Please. Oh, that's. Mmm. Well, if only I had that feat that made a 19's crits. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. So that's a 19 hits. Uh, okay. With her uh, armor on, she would have 15 with the mage armor. So okay. it hits. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and calculate all this damage. Okay. Cole, what are you doing? I, I, I did the thing, but... What did you do? Yeah, that's... I don't think that's... Gonna I don't think it's going to work, though. What did you do? No. He moved in front. Okay. You can still move front, but the glaive that has a reach, so he's attacking the other person. Yeah, that's Zephyr Strike. That, yeah. That's not going to anything. So that's technically, it would look like this. 
even yeah. though you guys Shit. are like a foot away from each other. The first strike is like almost instant. You're, he's there. It adds 90 feet to his movements immediately. Have you see mm -hmm. movement slip. You know when when Zinx yeah. with his when he's unconscious and he attacks with lightning slashes. That's how fast is ever. So is. as you guys see, Ariel's light uh, eyes glow and sparkle that thunder's energy, and you know what's coming next. As Cole, you reach forward to try mm -hmm. to do anything about it. As you put your arms up in a defensive uh, position, trying to cover her entire body, you see a bolt of lightning go right through you, and you brace yourself for the impact. <coughs> As nothing happens, and you turn behind you, and Ariel's already hitting her, or has hit her, for some amount of damage, and we'll see what happens. Alright, it's 50 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 14 slashing damage. Okay. And 5 force damage. With the thunder lightning, she just falls down. And I'm gonna she... bamf out of the way. <laughs> And uh, as she does fall, uh, the last thing she'll say in Abyssal, no, in Common, uh, will be, yes, uh, we're the monsters, right? Indeed. As I need you guys to roll me initiative because her hyenas do not like that. Yeah. And here we go. Here we go. You just want. Oh. You want me to just type. You can remove Brahminski walk. Uh, yeah, I... you can. Uh, Brahminski yeah. walk will be on your turn, so I'm deleting those. Okay. Who got. Uh, 20 or higher. Nat 20, 21. I also rolled a nat 20, 22. All right, so Ariel goes first. Cole goes next. Uh, these babies got... Did anyone beat an 18 other than those two? Yeah, yeah I wrote mine down. That's 15, 15, okay. Uh, Oleg, what did you get? Oh, 15. 15? Okay. Um... Oleg or uh, Rona, which one of you guys wants to go first? Let's do a roll off because. Alright, roll off then. Roll when I said my, uh, yeah, 22. Roll. Yeah. Okay. 20 yeah. with no plus. And that is an 8. So probably Oleg. Yeah. Alright, Oleg goes yep. first. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wes, what did you get? 17. Okay. 17. Wes will be in front of these guys. Alright, top of the round. Uh,. Ariel, what do you do? These hyenas get up, start barking and yapping. I, how tall up is the ceiling? Uh, to the other floor, so twenty, almost thirty feet. All right, so thirty feet up to the other floor. Yeah. And then how much further past that, since there's like an opening or a balcony? That that would be with the uh the 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 oh. opening over there. As I also need to add here, we're gonna add. Uh, nope, that is a seven. I'm gonna control you, and that is everybody else. All right. Well, hmm. I would fly as high. No, that wouldn't really work. I'm gonna move out here, outside the doorway. Okay. As you do, technically only one will get an attack opportunity, and she first strike will is definitely active. tight, huh? That first strike is active. No oh. ops. All right, there you go. No ops. Okay, yeah. you move out of the way. Anything else? Uh, so we're starting new initiative. So this is my turn, right? Yes, correct. Um, you know, on my way out, I think it would probably be good if I just went ahead and tried to do like a basic weapon attack. Sure. Roll me to hit. Which one? The left so, or the right? Uh, I'll do the one on the left. So okay. my left going out, so I guess technically the right. Let's see. So that's going to be a 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 hits. Roll me damage. Righty. It's going to be just a basic D, yeah, D10. 8, 9, 10. 11 slashing damage. And then extra attack. Mm-hmm. 
Go for it again. That's even higher than the last roll. Okay. So this will be a seven. Seven total? On the second one? Okay. Uh, as it's bloodied, as you see that jolt of lightning go through, slash against this hyena, it's a big target, so it's kind of easy to hit, as she just goes behind the wall and right in front of Oleg. Cole, what do we do? Oops, sorry, card's a card. Cole. Oh. Are we losing Cole again? No! Come no. no, I'm here. here. Okay. Take Cole's... Turn. Yeah, Cole's gonna step up. Uh, okay. And kneel. Okay. And reach into his bag. And he's gonna pull out 300 gold pieces worth of diamond dust, and he's gonna cast Revivify. When you do, she does come back. But unfortunately, there is a mishap. Oh no. As Cole, I would ask you to run percentiles, please. Seventy-four. Okay. Doesn't really change so much of her attitude, but all right. If she was a person who enjoyed money, I don't give a shit about it anymore. Uh, as uh, so you go, throw the uh, glitter, uh, diamond powder, mutter a couple of prayers, and immediately uh, bring her back as she opens up. And she looks at one of the large hyenas who's about to attack you. What's that? And you see the the inches from your uh, back, this claw about the entire half of your body's mass just stop. And it approaches you and just starts sniffing. <sighs> As you're covered in steam and mucus and probably bits and pieces of something it ate. And you mm -hmm. smell flesh and decay. As she will look at you as her reaction. And then an abyss soul will say. And then spits on the ground and gets up. Uh, Hyenas already. Now. Okay. Cole's gonna walk past the um the I hyena. All right, mess message if you. Uh, thank you. I, I got it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, but Cole's gonna walk past the hyena, and he's just staring straight, and he looks. Stern, stoic, like he's not looking back, he's just looking forward. You, as you see the hyena, uh, the the uh, the priestess, yeah! and just screams uh, at you. I need all four of you to roll me, five of you, to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, natural 20 for me. Because I want to make sure it might not be all of you. I could be making an error. I need to see how many people What is... What, what was the save again? Uh, wisdom. wisdom. Wisdom saving today. Cool. Oh, it's each creature. So it doesn't matter if you did it at a higher level. Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, Rognaf, what did you get? 23. Not That's 20, a, 23. That is a pass. Okay. Uh, uh, Wes, what did you get? So that actually makes sense. Uh, ten. Ten. You are terrified of her. Uh, I'm gonna roll for Ariel. That is Sorry, a we're just gonna 12. run. Well, <laughs> Ariel would have passed. Um, oh, look, what did you get? Nine. Nine. She casted fear. You are terrified of her. Cole. Twenty-four. You are fine. 
as both Wes and Oleg just take a step back. You know it's a supernatural effect. She is casting something on you. As a uh, Cole, what are you doing? Oh, um, if it matters, um, Brum has a four, and and Techn Skywalker is not is one. Technically, they're both frightened of her as well. <laughs> and so, yeah, you do not want to take a step close to her, and your creature must take the dash action to run away, mm -hmm. the safest route possible. So, Oleg and Wes, you both want to book it. Yeah, Wes already wanted to book it, honestly. Yeah. yeah, Cole's just like, let's go. And as soon as uh, Cole walks out the door, uh, you see that her hand motions inward as she casts a knock uh, spell. <laughs> the door closes. Yeah, that's like this door. Yeah, this door closes. Cool. What do you do, guys? I'm going to grab Ariel and kind of like forcefully pull him over to the side and I'm gonna fucking hit him in the face. You gotta call her. <laughs> Roll me to hit. Okay. Like, I'm just punching him with my hand, by the way. Just uh, unarmed. Because Ariel's not gonna let that just fly by. No, I know. So just strength. Uh, well, it's a uh, yeah. Since you're not a monk, it's just uh, D20 yeah. I'm, I don't. Strength. I also don't have tavern brawler, so yeah. D yeah, there you go. So yeah, just uh, without your uh, proficiency. That's a twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's your strength plus one. So it's just five damage. All right. As you hit Ario and he spits out blood. That was fucking stupid. Don't you ever do that shit again. You put Cole in danger. You put all of us in fucking danger. There was no fucking point to that, and I'm just walking out. As he would look at you, Wes, we have a mission to do. Her, this will put many lives in danger. So, what you're telling me is that Cole's life didn't fucking matter in that moment, and I'm just gonna keep going. No, uh... I'm, I'm, under his breath, he's like, of course it matters. Yeah, I'm, with that as well, I'm gonna look at Ario, and just kind of look down, just a little bit disappointed, and follow suit. It was like, there's nothing for us here anymore, just, we need to leave. As, uh... Ah. You'll see... Uh, you won't see. You will hear. No, you won't, because Addy wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah, Addy would never ask yeah. for, for that. Like all the way over here. <laughs> this too, because they're running. Okay. Uh, the only thing I can say is Wes, roll me a... Well, alright. The last thing of what you guys are going to do. Okay. What is? What will be your last action of the night? Uh, just walking out. Okay, place your character wherever you want to place him. Uh, don't worry about distance or, or turn order or anything like that. Just place your character where, where he wants to end tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna be like, hey, wait up! Because these guys are running as fast as they can. <laughs> so, okay. These are pillars, right? Jesus? Just, yeah. Cole's gonna move over to the pillar. Okay. And he's letting kind of like just what's sinking just happened, and he's trying to keep it together, and okay. he's going to pray. Okay. Are you uh, just a regular prayer? What do you mean? Like, are you casting the, a spell to physically contact your god, or are you just rolling religion to pray? Rolling religion right, to pray. Rolling religion. I can never remember my mod. 28. Rolling percentiles? Eighty-three. You'll feel the wind shift and change as your hair was blowing 
to the left and then starts blowing to the right. In the direction where Rognarp is running, for clarification. Mm hmm. Anything else? Um. Nothing that I am going to say right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, West. Oh, like, what are you guys doing? I'm booking it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking out. Okay. As yeah. you guys do. Um. I'm um, just a little note. When I when we get there by the doors, by the gates, it's just basically when they walk past me, I'm just right there, just trying to calm the two the two babies down, basically. Okay. As, uh, you're <laughs> grabbing on them, and uh, being so far away, they they feel like they're okay now. Especially being in uh, in Papa Rognar's arms, you see a uh, little Skiwa kind of like getting inside your beard and like trying the best to hug you, Rognar. I mean, sorry, uh, Brog kind of shakes behind and like using you as cover, um, in like a direct path to where the priestess was. As a, uh, I'll say because of where you are now, uh, I would ask if this is where you guys are going to end your physical position in the game. Okay. Then I would like uh, Cole and Oleg to roll me perception. Brognar and uh, Wes, all uh, you auto see it. Oh, that twenty. Twenty. All right. Yeah, you see it. Okay, you both see it. As you see, Addy, at the moment, slashing down a uh, with uh, his sickle, a knoll, um, and looks like uh, Grog is against a tree and sliding down. As you see, a trickle of blood um, soak the entire uh, trunk of that tree as he poof, falls onto the ground. That is where we're going to end tonight's game. Can I teleport over there, River <laughs> uh, Not right now. Oh, so, God damn it. Even though I don't have it prepped. <laughs> as you guys storm the keep, learned a little bit about each other, we're able to take the, uh, the bottle, whatever that fire creature was, I totally oh, forgot about that, honestly, Early after everything. Inside Ariel's bag. Whatever that is. Kill the priestess and revive their all in the same 10 seconds. As you're currently seeing your friend uh, winning the end of what looks like to be a hard fight. And the Goliath, who you met at the beginning of all this chaos, somehow is just there. Uh, looks like he's down. As there's a lot more to explore and have fun with in this campaign. I truly love you guys. I mean, that's. Um, Are you sure? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm so freaking stressed, man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we'll edit this, put it on YouTube, and we'll be on Spotify hopefully tomorrow morning and on Anchor. Uh, please remember to be hydrated, love each other. Be kind to one another. We'll see you on the next one. Adios. Bye. Goodbye.